Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a quicker video for you guys today, at least I'm hoping that it's going to be quicker. We are going to be talking about a few brands that have really been impressing me lately. I have five of them. Some of them are newer brands. Other ones I have been around for a while, but they've released some things lately that I just am very excited about. So we're gonna go through these brands today and talk about the reasons why. Before we do that, I want to give a special welcome to any of you that are new here. Thank you for stopping by. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure that your notifications are also turned on. And with that said, let's just get right into it. Let's start with one brand that is brand new to me that I've only tried four items out from. They're affordable, you can find them on Amazon, and I have been so impressed with each of these products as far as their price, their quality, that I'm eager to go back and see what else this brand offers. It's the brand She Glam. I did try out four things from this brand last month. Their liquid blush, by the way, the packaging is so adorable in these. Their liquid contour, and then their brow pen, and this concealer. All of these products are under $10. I think that the concealer and also the liquid blush and contour are around like $7. I wanna say they're $6.99 if I'm remembering that right. I was wildly impressed with each of these. This concealer has been my go-to concealer over the last couple of weeks. It is so, so good. It is really good coverage. It actually reminds me of my Dior Forever Skin Concealer. It has that much coverage. The liquid blush I've been using a lot and very impressed with. The one that I have is in the shade Rose Ritual. They had a lot of other shades. I'm kind of curious to go back. I'm kind of drowning in liquid blushes right now. I really don't need blushes period. I have just been on a blush thing lately. I really need to give blushes a break for a minute, but I might have to go back and see if I can pick up a couple more shades of this because I really love the packaging. It has good staying power. It's almost more of like a blush tint. It's a little bit on the watery side, but it's more pigmented than something along the lines of like the Juicy Pink Water Blushes that I used to rave about. I haven't talked as much about those lately, again, because I've just been drowning blushes for a long time. The bronzer, which I've talked about more recently, I mentioned I'm not usually a huge fan of liquid bronzer because I find it a little bit difficult to work with. I do want to give this a try with a brush and see if I feel a little bit differently. But as far as liquid bronzers go, this is as good as my Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, it's a great formula. The color is really nice, especially if you have fair skin. And they did have other colors as well, which I was very happy to see. So check them out. I am planning to go back on Amazon and see if they have like a foundation or some other, maybe a mascara or something but so far I'd say they're about four for four I will let you guys know if I find some more products that they offer okay, another brand I just wanted to briefly highlight this is a brand that I, I talk about often they're one of my favorite drugstore brands and that's the brand essence honestly it's really these highlighters that have made me I should say re-fall in love with essence because I never really fell out of love with essence but I am so wild about these highlighters I think they are so incredible I have three shades I have shades one two and three the lightest one here is very blinding it's like a light icy light gold it's kind of reminiscent of my Revlon skin lights highlighter but the formula is a little bit different they're very very pigmented which means you can build them up and get something like a blinding icy highlight or you can be a little bit more subtle with them if you go in with a light layer I also really love the shade number two sun showers this is the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks today again you can go in light-handed and kind of get something more subtle or really build it up and you get a good amount of kind of opaqueness and pigment out of it but it still looks really nice on the skin for how bold it is it doesn't emphasize texture as much as some other bold highlighters can and i'm pretty sensitive to that because i do have a lot of fine lines especially in this area right here and then this shade's a little bit more pink this is the shade staggering this one can be a little bit dark on me i think i'll like it a little bit better in the summertime but i still like it it's still beautiful and i believe that they have one more shade that's darker than this one such a great highlighter it compares to some of my favorite high-end highlighters and other than the packaging which Essence packaging is generally quite poor. And the price tag explains that. I mean, this is a $3.99, $4.99 highlighter, but the product itself is definitely high-end quality. And I also really love their Pure Nude blushes. These are such beautiful blushes. They kind of give me, they remind me a little bit of the formula of an hourglass blush. They have a subtle amount of sheen to them. They're quite pigmented. This one right here is Shimmering Rose. This one can be a little bit light for me, but when I want a really just barely there kind of blush, or if you have more fair skin than me, I think you would love this shade. I also have, here it is. This one is Berry Cheeks, which I also love. This is one of my favorite wintertime powder blushes. Again, the formula of these is really nice. It's very high-end feeling. You get a ton of product and the price is fantastic. I also wanted to highlight the brand About Face. So I fell in love with, well, my first introduction to this brand was their lip liners that I tried out over a year ago. I have several of them. I actually have one up in my, one or two up in my purse right now as well. They're one of my favorite 
lip liners. They're quite creamy, but they also have perhaps the longest staying power of any lip liner I have ever tried. They're really easy to blend out. I love to put a lip liner on and then kind of like smudge it out either with my finger or with a brush just so it looks a little bit more natural. The shades are great. I've tried like six or seven shades of these and I've been really happy with all of the shades so far. Today I'm wearing a combination of False Alarm and Happy Endings, which is this very light, light peachy nude. They are so good. And the price is really good on these. Actually, full price, these are only $12, which is a pretty good price for what I'm assuming is kind of a higher end brand. But I feel like the price on most of the products are more affordable than what you would typically see from a higher end makeup brand, especially lately. I mean, everything is priced pretty high. I also tried out the Performer Foundation recently. This foundation is growing on me more and more. I've been using it a lot. The shade match is perfect for me right now. I have the shade LM1 Neutral. I've been using this so much lately. I actually have really come to love the doe foot applicator, which normally I don't like in a foundation. I usually feel like that's kind of a weird way to apply it. But what I've really been enjoying about the doe foot is swiping it on your face. You don't have to use the back of your hand because usually I'm using the back of my hand to kind of concoct different shades together, foundations together to get a perfect match. I'm all about finding that perfect match. But again, this one matches me perfectly without adding anything, which I love. It's a great formula. It's a good skin-like formula, a little bit more hydrating. I would say it's plenty hydrating on my dry skin, but it's not like a dewy finish. It tends to wear pretty well all around. It's just a really good one. I also have their, I've mentioned their lip gloss recently. I like the formula of this lip gloss. It's, I just don't like the shade that I picked out. So I have two other shades in their old packaging, but they don't offer those shades anymore. This one is a little bit too gold for me, but I kind of like it as just like a spot of highlight in the center of my lips. And it's very nice and non-sticky. And then the last thing I've tried from them that's really impressed, impressed me is their matte fluid eye paint. I just have the white one. This is an interesting product. I don't use it all the time. It works great as, you could probably use this as a full eye primer. It's not super pigmented, but you can definitely build it up. And once it sets down and kind of locks in, it will not budge. And the thing that I like about this, when I first used this, I thought, oh geez, it's not, like it kind of shears out a little bit, which I, I was almost disappointed in. But once I realized that that gives you a little bit more control, I've come to really like that. There are times that I, especially with a bright white like this, having it be a little bit more sheer makes it really nice as kind of a base on my inner lid to kind of brighten things up. And also I love using this with a tiny little pinpoint brush, like something like this, and running it just along this like inner part of my lower waterline. I did that today and it really brightens up your eyes, but it's not so opaque or white that it looks too fake. It kind of just gives you this like sheer kind of whiteness that just really brightens up your eyes. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a really nice product. I don't know that I would like the other shades. I don't normally use liquid eyeshadows for like my, my crease or for my lid other than just unless it has a lot of sparkle in it. And by the way, they do have some that have some glitter in it. I might have to go back and try one of those, but these have been, this has been a really fun and versatile product to use with other eyeshadows. It's kind of like a brightening base. The next brand that has impressed me perhaps more than any brand lately is the brand Physicians Formula. Now, disclaimer here, I am on their PR list. So I think all of these things I have been sent in PR, but I have been so impressed with so many of the things that they have sent me lately. They've been sending me their diamond line, their diamond mineral line. So I have the bronzer here, you guys, I know I just raved about this, I think in my last video and maybe the video before that, but I've been using this every day. I look forward to using this bronzer. It's the perfect bronzer for me. It is nice and warm, but not orange. It's like nice and light, but gives me just this beautiful kind of sun-kissed look I am wearing on my cheeks today. And it just shapes out my face so nicely. It goes on quicker than maybe any other bronzer I've ever applied. I mean, I literally just have to do like three taps and it looks perfect. It's nice and blendable and creamy. It wears well. I absolutely love this. I've also been really impressed with some of the other things they've sent me more recently. You guys know the butter products that they, I think that was last year that they sent me those. I love the butter concealer. I really like the butter highlighter. But even a few other things like this Diamond Perfector BB Cream is a really nice looking, I don't really call it a foundation. It's kind of more of a like, tinted skin finish that has a good solid light medium coverage. It's not too light to where I feel like it's useless, but it's also not too heavy. It looks really natural and it makes your skin look so plump and dewy. I really need to pick up another shade. I have 
fair to light and light medium, and even light medium is quite light, but it's really beautiful. I've also really been impressed with their liquid blush. They have this lip gloss that I really like. This shade is Pink Radiant Cut, which is beautiful. And then this mascara has also really been, I've been using this a lot lately. It can be quite messy. I have to be very careful with this one. It's one of those mascaras, kind of reminds me, the Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is like this for me. There are times that I apply that mascara and it, it makes my lashes look amazing and insane. With one quick swoop, my lashes are just full and thick and dark and voluminous. But once in a while, because it's such a heavy coating mascara, things can get pretty messy. And that's kind of how this one is. It coats pretty heavy. So once in a while, if I mess up or if, like a glob gets smudged somewhere, it can kind of create a mess. It's not the easiest mascara to work with, but I really like what it does for my lashes. It is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. Yes, Physician's Formula. You guys are really knocking it out of the park lately. Okay, the last brand I wanted to highlight today is the brand Nabla. You guys, I've been talking again about these things so much lately. I really need to find some new favorites. I feel like I just keep raving about the same things over and over again. But if you haven't tried these blushes out yet and you like a cream blush, I don't know what you're waiting for. These are the best blushes ever. I love them. And this shade, Soft Nude, is really growing on me. I'm definitely gonna have to go back and try a few more shades. I think they have six or seven shades available. Some of them are very dark and very toned. I don't know that they'd work on me, but these are good. They have the perfect amount of pigment. They're not too sheer, but not too pigmented, which is so perfect because they go on so quickly. If something is too pigmented, it can go on too heavy and then I have to spend a lot of time blending it out. It kind of messes up my makeup underneath. And also if it's not pigmented enough, I have to apply too many layers. I like something that's gonna go on quickly and I can kind of just leave it there and be done. Won't disturb the rest of my makeup, but it gives me a nice amount of color and blends easily. That's exactly what this product is like. I love it so much. That's really the only new thing I've tried out from them, but I've gone back to pulling out my Cutie Nude palette lately. You guys, I love this palette. It does not have the best reviews. I know because it has these like three creamy matte shades that can be a little bit more tricky to work with. They require kind of a more dense brush and a certain technique, more of a tapping technique than like a blending technique or a back and forth technique to apply them and get them to blend out nicely. But I love what these do for my eyes. They just, I think it's that tiny bit of hydration that it adds to my very dry and aging eyelids that just helps my eyelids out just a little bit, makes them look a little bit plumper, a little bit younger, but it's not so creamy that it's greasy or smudges anywhere. Natasha Denona has formulas that are similar to this. I love this palette, it's beautiful. It is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today with that white base underneath on the inner corner, and it's just so lovely. It's this perfectly pinky brown. I haven't raved about this for a while. It's been like a year since I talked about this palette, but it is one of my favorite palettes, like in my entire collection. It's definitely up there in my, I would say my top 10 for sure. And in addition to that, honestly, Nabla is one of those brands, everything I have tried from them, I've been very, very impressed with. And the more items that I add to my collection, the more I just realize this brand just knows how to do makeup. Very high quality. I just feel like they're kind of one of those brands that are underrated for how good their products are. All right, you guys, that is it. Those are the five brands that have been really impressing me lately. Let me know if you guys have some brands that you have been really loving. I know there are a lot of new brands at Sephora that I have not gotten around to trying yet. So if you have discovered some of those brands lately and would recommend them, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Let me give you one final reminder to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.